First off, I'd like, to, I'd like to clarify that when we refer to the MLDA, we refer to the minimum legal drinking age. So that's what we mean by that. <clears throat> Once again, or continuously, our opponents re uh, refer to the 1978 National Study of Adolescent Drinking Behavior, which is from 1978, and is uh, unreliable and not up to date with our current events. <clears throat> Um, I believe Shannon stated that by delaying the use of alcohol, this can better the chances of a person not developing a problem with alcohol. And criminal justice experts estimate that at least 75 or 80 percent of defendants involved in felony or crimes or, or serious misdemeanors were either under the influence of alcohol or drugs when they committed the crime, or they tried to obtain money to buy alcohol. This statistic speaks nothing to the age limit of the defendants involved in alcohol-related crimes, and therefore has no bearing in our argument. Legal drinking ages do not correlate with less alcohol consumption. She also stated that for every year that we delay the onset of drinking, studies have shown that a substantial increase in likelihood that children will never have an issue with drugs or alcohol. When I looked at this uh, statement, I found that this was written by uh, a judge in Kansas named Karen Arnold Berger, who is a mother of three, and taking these facts into perspective, it is fair to say that she is a biased. She's biased in the issue, and her opinion, her opinion, and statistics fit her agenda. I believe Mariah stated that the military takes in youngsters particularly because they are not fully developed and can be molded into soldiers. The 21 law is predicted, predicated on the fact that drinking is more dangerous for youth because they're still developing mentally and physically. I'm in the United States Army. If an 18 year old, if 18 year old soldiers were at risk for being mentally or physically damaged because they were still developing, they would not be, able, they would not be allowed to do 99% of the things that they do. They would not be put through intense physical training or be exposed to combat situations because their minds and bodies are too undeveloped. They are asked to do these things because they are legal adults and therefore have the ability to make the decision to join and volunteer. They also stated that research shows that back when some states still had a minimum drinking age of 18, youths in those states who were under 21 drank more and continued to drink more as adults in their early 20s. I can try and refute this point, however it makes perfect logical sense. Of course people under 21 would be drinking more in a state where there's the legal drinking age is 18. When the laws change to include a larger base of participants, there's going to be more participants. Coincidentally, there are less underage drinkers in states where it is illegal to drink. This does not speak to any dangers these uh, underage drinkers um, occur. They also say that research indicates that the human brain continues to develop until a person's early 20s. It's actually 25. And I say that the legal drinking age limit should be 18 or older because 18 to 20-year-olds are mature and responsible enough to partake in consuming alcohol. If 25 is when the brain stops developing and at 18 we are considered legal adults, then the, the importance of being 21 is arbitrary. She also say that car crashes are, legal, are the leading cause of death for teens and about one-third of these are related to alcohol. I say that the changing the minimum legal drinking age to 18 creates more opportunities for this group to consume alcohol responsibly and to avoid drunk driving. She stated that one in five teens binge drinks, only one in 100 parents believe his or her teens binge drink. This is interesting because if legal age, drinking age is 18, uh, people under 18 or people 18 and 20 would not need to lie to their parents about drinking but rather will be able to for come forthright to them and ask for rides when they are inebriated or when, without fear of punishment. Thank you.